I have no doubt that some of you are strongly inclined to superstition. You are naturally credulous and spend so much of your time searching out supernatural tales that your minds have probably become infected by them. When I am alone in my chamber, these ideas have taken such hold of my imagination that I cannot sleep. I sit by the window and muse upon the dusky landscape, watching the lights disappearing one by one from the houses around the square, and watch the moon rising in her silent majesty. My mind is crowded by fancies concerning those spiritual beings which walk the earth, unseen both when we are awake and when we are asleep. We are surrounded by mysteries. Who has yet been able to comprehend and describe the nature of the soul? We really know that it does exist, but whence it came and when it entered into us and how it is retained and where it is seated and how it operates are all matters of mere speculation. If we are so ignorant of the soul when it is a part of ourselves, how can we pretend to know or deny its powers when released from the body?